Hey, I just wanted to uh, let you know about this wig I'm wearing. Now this is, let me read it over here. I brought it up on screen. Um, let me get my glasses on so I can kind of see, can't read. Uh, it's a Lindell long, soft, shaggy, layered blonde, ombre, classic cap, full synthetic wig. It's a blonde, gray, ombre. Now, I bought this, uh, let's see if it'll tell me what I bought it, uh, in 2020. And when I bought this, uh, she has a little link to it, but she had just like one strip of hair down the back. Even though the picture didn't really look like that, when I got it, you had these sides, and I said, no, I'm going to cut it off. This is a wig I thought I could experiment with. Uh, as you see, she does have pretty good coloring in it. It's, it, it is this blonde uh, ombre with the gray. I mean, this is my hair right here. It kind of, you know, matches. But she is a, a heavy wig. She's got a lot of permatease up here. You know, she's a little big, but, you know, she comes down pretty far in the back. Uh, I only paid like $20 for. But I thought, I've seen about dyeing uh, hair, and I was going to uh, do this uh, maybe in a purple um, color and experiment, you know, doing that on synthetic wigs and see how it comes out. Because I may wear it in the summer, because I sweat regardless of what I have on or don't have on. Uh, but this would probably be an ideal wig for uh, the winter time. You see hairs down, you know, your little, like, baby hairs. Uh, and I got a le enough left, I could kind of flip her up and maybe make a little tight bun in the back if I wanted. But I may cut some more off because it lays, if you see, it, she lays right at the neck. I hope you can see that in the back. Let's go to the other side, and hopefully you can see the back. You know, she feels good. She doesn't really itch the head, you know. And, uh, but yeah, I got, uh, this is going to be my experiment wig. Something I could just play around with. I've kind of cut the bangs a little bit. I've cut this. Um, like I said, I may dye it, put some deep purples in it, you know, what can I lose? It's a wig I don't wear that often, but maybe if I fix it up and get a cuter little style to it, maybe I will wear it, you know, especially, like I said, in the win winter. Like these sides, I should taper them a little more, you know, taper them down. I don't know if she's still available. I know uh, she had several colors. You know, she's got browns and blondes. I'm sorry, looking at the computer over here. But she has uh, two, four, five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-three 10, 15, 20, 23 different colors. So there's a wide range you could pick from. Now on the, the site, she doesn't really look like, you know, she kind of looks like this. But she had this long pieces in the back. So I'm thinking of doing it more like a pixie, you know, cutting this. It's something to think about. This is what I'm going to do. So, see, there you go. Yeah, I guess it would be nice to have a, a nice expensive wig, but you can buy a cheap wig and do things to it. So uh, this is kind of what I call my rock star. <laughs> it's like a rock star hairdo, you know. I'd have my leather pants on, uh, distressed T-shirt, you know. All right, so that's it. I just wanted to let you know about this little wig I had on and what I was going to do with her. All right, talk to you later, alligator. Bye. <laughs>